sings. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, 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 everyone, to Womb Wednesdays, a normal thing we do here at Cosmic Womb on Honor Wednesday, where we talk about the womb and the reproductive system and hormones and periods and all of that goodness. Uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome, extra welcome for you. Uh, and if you are joining us again thank you so much for joining us again so of course as usual you guys know i definitely like to pray first before we begin and then we're going to get straight into um our pcos um treatments um and the condition itself last week we spoke about it um i will be doing a recap and then i will be adding on some other things so everybody can close their eyes, bow their heads, do what they would usually do for prayer, and I will lead the prayer. Dear God, we all thank you for everything you do. We thank you for being able to wake up this morning, to have a roof over our head, and all the simple things that we take for granted at times. We ask you now to surround us with your healing energy surround the world, allow our hearts to be softened, peace to be not just in our hearts, but also in our minds. We thank you for all you have done and continue to do. Amen. Okay, let's get into it. So PCOS, good night, Megan. PCOS, what is PCOS, right? Polycystic ovarian syndrome. So many women suffer from PCOS. It has become the most trendy um, hormonal condition out there of lately. Now, PCOS is like cis, PCOS, polycystic ovarian. So there are cysts around the ovary or on the ovary, just like how you would have a simple cyst that would be on the ovary. So when we talk about healing PCOS, we have to look into first what the symptoms are, because a lot of times we are not diagnosed until way late where we're now like, oh my God, duh, that's what I had. I have like, if there are eight symptoms, I have seven. This understanding the different symptoms uh, will allow you to be able to be diagnosed earlier. So when it comes to PCOS, things like irregular periods. Um, yes, there's pain and that type of thing. Um, for some women, uh, they gain a lot of weight uh, in a short space of time. Uh, for others, there are male hormones that are um, prevalent so they find that their chin and their neck and their chest and their nipples and all of that have hair um, so they would have hair in a manly place uh, that is also a huge huge sign because polycystic ovarian syndrome as I told you guys last week comes in many different types there are many different types um, some are um, insulin resistant, some are because of inflammation, some are caused because of the male hormone that is now there, but at the end of the day, they are all connected because of the estrogen level, okay? It is the estrogen level, the high estrogen level, which is causing this PCOS situation. So when we spoke last week, of course, the first thing I got into was the gut and how we have to make sure that the gut is healthy. The healthier the gut, the more a cyst cannot live, the more balanced the hormones are going to be. Everything else will be a domino effect of positivity if the gut itself is in a positive place, if it is healthy. So we definitely want to start with the gut. When you think about gut, you're now going to think to yourself, well food what do we eat because the food in itself can throw off the gut or will throw off the gut or create a healthy gut 
So when someone has a high estrogen level, we have to realize that we cannot now then eat foods that have estrogen in them or high amounts of estrogen in them because the body already has enough. The liver is already saturated in this estrogen, so it makes it harder to be able to release the estrogen the estrogen just sits there right and the, the the liver sits there the estrogen sits in the liver and it creates this issue so making sure that the gut is healthy is very very important and of course when i say gut i say the, I, I mean the entire digestive system okay the entire digestive system if you find that you have missed periods or irregular periods or this hair growing or or that type of thing, then go to your OBGYN, go to your doctor, go to your clinic, go to wherever and do some tests. Do an ultrasound, okay, a pelvic ultrasound. When you do a pelvic ultrasound, you want it to be a transvaginal ultrasound. You don't want them to just put it on your abdomen and just be looking. Make them go inside and look to see what is happening. Um, also, some blood tests as well can definitely help. There are times when at the beginning of our periods, when we're young girls, that we don't end up having regular periods yet. You know, like the period will come in May and then we don't see it again until June and then we don't see it again until, you know, September. But it is supposed to level out. That is okay and that can be normal and that can be healthy because her body is trying to, trying to adjust. But when you realize that this is happening continuously, continuously, and this is years and years, this there is an issue. I have so many clients that come to me and since they have been 16, they've been having irregular periods and now she's 40. Don't wait so long. Irregular periods mean something. Something is wrong. Something is off. It is unhealthy. I know that some women, when it talks about irregular periods, they're like, well, at least the period didn't come. And I am just so happy because I hate the period and it didn't come. So I'm not really stressing it. But the period or a lack thereof is telling you that something is wrong. And the more you do nothing about it or ignore it is the worse the problem becomes. And then what we find is that now when you're 25, I mean, or 35 or whatever you are, and you found the guy that you want to, you know, create this family with and pregnancy is not happening and your periods are still irregular. If your periods are irregular, if you are having male hormones, most likely you are not ovulating. If you are not ovulating, then pregnancy is not really going to happen naturally. Okay, so we want to make sure that not only is it that we are lessening the estrogen level, but we are also lessening the male hormone that would be there um, so that the hormones can become more balanced because, of course, it is definitely stored in the liver. From another angle, when we were talking about foods and the estrogen in the foods, what type of foods do you guys think that is? Like, what do you think that is? Because at the end of the day, anything soy is going to have way too much estrogen, okay? Anything that has dairy is going to have way too much estrogen. Because if you suffer from PCOS, if you suffer from fibroids, if you suffer from endometriosis, if you suffer from any kind of hormonal condition... Dairy is definitely not your friend. I don't care. Dairy is not your friend. You got to find some alternatives. The dairy is only making it worse. Chicken, yes, I agree, is also another one. Of course, you can get chicken that does not have hormones in it. That is very much, very, very possible. And you have to go out of your way. But yes, you can do that. Um, soy, as I told you before, tofu, veggie chunks. A lot of these things have a lot of soy in them. So when you find someone who's like, oh, I'm vegan. I don't eat meat. But then they know that they have cancer. And everybody's like, oh, they have cancer. You see, it don't matter what you eat. It does matter what you eat. But they're eating cancer things. Um... High estrogen 
cancer, mm. it's there. So we want to make sure that our estrogen levels are lessened. And one of the ways we do that is to not put estrogen in our bodies. There are also things like soybean. You know, um, I love a miso soup. I love a edaname. And sometimes I'm like, oh, okay, I can't have this all the time. Like I can't, you know, um, even though I don't have hormonal conditions, I know still that it is still not healthy. And so I try not to do it often. Okay. So it is really just about trying to figure out different alternatives for different things. Cow's milk is a thing that can go into all kinds of things, things that are sweet, things that are salty, things that are creamy, things that are solid. Don't think that if you go and find a vegan version of cow's milk to use in your cereal, that that same cow's milk can make macaroni and cheese or vegan macaroni and cheese, or it can go in your tea, or it can, it can make, it can be put in your smoothie. When you get into this type of lifestyle, you have to realize that you might have two or three different milks in your fridge, depending on what it is that you're cooking to get the flavor, to enjoy it. So be open-minded about that. Please do. We went a little bit into treatments, um, and I showed some products last week. Um, almond milk can definitely be used. Um, I, I went into some different treatments that Cosmic Woman has, uh, when it comes to different tonics, um, the regeneration, uh, you know, cleansing the body. So our cleanse, our cellular cleanse. I also went into things like evening primrose, uh, and uh, vitamin C and all these other things that are great because uh, magnesium, um, vitamin D3, there's just so many things uh, that we can use to help this, to strengthen the ovaries, um, to balance the hormones so that we are not suffering from this condition. There are some other things in terms of like herbs that you could say that would be beneficial. And those are things like cinnamon, red clover, red maca, milk thistle. Those are like very hormone stuff, okay, hormonal herbs. And they will help a lot. Um, I know for me, what I would usually do with my clients is I would recommend, if you, had, if you suffered from PCOS, I would recommend um, the womb tea, which is like a maintenance, reproductive maintenance tea. And then I would also recommend the hormonal tea. Um, and the hormonal tea will have more of the cinnamon, the the um, the milk thistle, that type of thing. So the, so being able to use these different herbs in your tea, in your smoothie, as a, as a capsule, as long as the capsule is a veggie capsule, please, no gelatin capsules, uh, you will definitely be able to start seeing the difference. You will start seeing the difference, okay? Um, if it is that you are not seeing a period, then I would recommend our Hello Period Tea. It's very, very good for helping to bring down the period. Now, what I will say is sometimes with PCOS, the period doesn't come. But once it comes, it's like it don't want to stop. It's just going and going and going for days and weeks. And so with that, I would de definitely recommend other things to be able to stop the bleeding, um, like abuto or um, yarrow, shepherd's purse, these types of things, so that we can cut the period. I would also recommend doing vaginal steaming. Uh, and when, when we, when we in, in terms of treatments, vaginal steaming being one of them, there are many other treatments that you can do, and you can do these things at home. You don't need to go anywhere to do it. So there's vaginal steaming for sure that you can do, and I'd recommend probably twice a month. Um, for that. I would also recommend a castor oil treatment. Castor oil treatment is castor oil treatment is um, done on your abdomen and you would use cold pressed organic castor oil. You cannot use black Jamaican castor oil guys. Use that in your hair. Don't use it on your skin. Don't swallow it. 
don't do it with the castor oil as as the castor oil treatment so you would place the castor oil saturate the castor oil on your abdomen then you would put a heat um a cotton flannel that is not dyed okay or bleached or muslin cloth over your abdomen that's saturated with the oil and then you're going to put a heating pad or a hot water bottle on top of that. You're going to lie down for about an hour, an hour and a half, maybe even two hours. Okay, that's fine. You can fall asleep with it. By the time you turn and twist, it's going to be off of you anyway. I do not recommend it staying on you for long periods of time though. Okay, that can definitely burn up the skin too. So I don't recommend that. The other treatment is called a clay treatment and the clay treatment is also done on your abdomen. It is basically almost like a mask that you would do on your face, but it is being done on your abdomen from your belly button all the way down to the mound of your vagina. This is going to help to detox the reproductive system. So even if it's not cysts you have, even if it's fibroids you have, um, this is also a good thing for you to do. It definitely, definitely helps. So when it comes to treatments that you can do on yourself at home, vaginal steaming, castor oil treatment, clay treatment. In terms of things to do, in terms of a, a specialist doing them, there are other things. So for example, I can do like navel candling and that helps a lot. You can go to an acupuncturist and that can help a lot as well. So it really just depends or you can do all of the above, okay? I don't want to talk about therapy and, and that kind of thing without talking about sound therapy, okay? And I know that it is not often that a holistic practitioner or healer or whatever you guys call me, okay, um, to say something like that. But I have used sound therapy to heal myself in so many ways. I have seen how it has changed lives, okay? And there are so many easy ways, free, cheap ways to do it. And it helps, it ends up balancing your entire being. So not only are you healing your reproductive system, but you're balancing yourself, okay? So usually when someone will do a consultation with Cosmic Woman, we will send um, some sound therapy, right? So that they can do at home or do when they're driving or put on when you're going to bed or something like that. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend doing some sound therapy. No matter what your reproductive condition, I don't care if it is a nerve condition, it could be a blood condition, it could be a heart condition, it could be any condition whatsoever, okay? Um, you can always find music to help heal. Always. Now, we were talking about foods before, right? In terms of the foods with the estrogen and how we shouldn't be using it and all of that type of thing. We also then have to go into what we're putting our foods in. What we're cooking our foods in what we're warming up our foods in, what we're putting our foods in to store in the refrigerator, all of these things are important. Because when we use plastic, plastic has the estrogen, the phthalates, the BPA, it's all there. So we want to make sure that when you are using Tupperware or using plastic um, stuff like that to store food, that you are using ones that are phthalates free and BPA free. I go to Ross to buy those things. It is the cheapest. Sometimes TJ Maxx too, but Ross is much, much cheaper. And I get a lot for a small amount of money and they last. So it's not like, you know, they deteriorate quickly and you have to keep buying. So I recommend it. Look into it. Please. Please do. Especially if you have boys. That is also something. We're not thinking a lot about the estrogen in our boys. And a lot of times that is half the reason why a lot of our boys feel a little bit more girly. No judgment. No nothing. I love them still. 
okay, with all my heart. But the reason why they feel this way is because chemically, the estrogen levels in their body are extremely high, okay? So when it comes to using um, plastic plates, plastic cups, um, all of these types of things, we have to be aware. We have to be aware. The tea hot. Kevin, drink it good. Sorry. Okay. So that kind of sums up everything. I don't want to spend all the time talking about this since I spoke about it last week. I want to kind of get in some of the questions, right? So let me start that. If I can scroll all the way. Okay. Excuse me. Is your tea hot? Wow, wow, I can't find one yet. Found out I have a 10 centimeter fibroid recently and the doctor recommends surgery. Started some herbs like Vitex, Red Raspberry, and Black Cahosh. Is there anything that you would recommend also? Okay. Um, Vitex is great. Great. Um, red Raspberry is good. Red Raspberry, I'm not sure if your fibroid is inside of your uterus or if it's outside of the uterus. But if the fibroid is inside of the uterus, then Red Raspberry is definitely going to help because it helps making the, the uterus healthy. Um, black Cohosh, it's a little strong. I don't know if I would recommend Black Cohosh, to be honest with you. There are other things I would do. Um, I would do um, Red Clover. Um, I would do, um, let's see, um, I would do things like magnesium, um, definitely vitamin D3, a lot of those things to kind of balance the hormones. So don't just think herbs, okay? Don't just think herbs, um, think Think everything, minerals, vitamins, herbs, oils, all of it. Use all of it to heal yourself. Don't limit yourself at all. I'm going to go over to Facebook, Facebook. Good night, good night, good night, good night. What about removing gluten from the diet? Removing gluten from the diet is a great idea. No matter what type of condition you have, removing gluten is going to be fantastic. It is going to help the process much better. Now, gluten is not good for anyone. So anyone that removes gluten from their diet, they will be healthier um, inside for sure. But if you suffer from a condition, anyone, fibroid, cysts, endometriosis, it could be cancer, it could be any of those types of the immune issues, um, you definitely want to make sure that you do not eat their, um, um, gluten, okay? Gluten is in a lot of things. Gluten is in things like wheat, white bread, white pasta, okay? Um, white rice. So you want to make sure that you are having gluten-free um, carbs, Is a cellular cleanse supposed to cause a lot of bowel movements like five times a day? Okay, so yes, it can. Um, and, and it's not going to be five times a day every day for the rest of the time that you're on it. It could just be like that for the first two days or maybe three days. Um, but yes, the cellular cleanse is supposed to make you go to the bathroom. We are cleaning the digestive system without removing the good bacteria. It is very important for us to do that so the healing process can be quicker. We have to cleanse 100%. Can we purchase these from you without getting consultation first? Yes, you can definitely purchase any products you want without doing a consultation. 
um, the reason why I recommend a consultation is because you get like a little guide person with you along the journey. Um, you also get a treatment plan, many treatment plans, so that we can target you and what you need. Um, some women need a healthier period and the PCOS situation better. Some people need, their periods are actually okay, but their hormones still are off, okay? Um, some are not having a period at all. Some are having a period, but they're still not ovulating. It comes in many different forms and fashions, as I said before. So I would, I would recommend doing a consultation. If you can't do a consultation, then of course, cleansing is going to be important. Anything for the ovaries are going to be important and balancing the hormones are also going to be important. What kind of sound therapy would you suggest for general health? Okay, so if you're doing sound therapy um, for general health, I would recommend you doing um, meditations and visualizations and sound, just sound audio um, meditation that would be um, sound um, therapy that would be good for balance, whole body balancing. Um, I would take each or each system and work on it one at a time. So I would start with the lower system and work my way up um, all the way to the brain and then probably work my way from the brain all the way back down as well. I'm cleansing and flushing out that area um, or flushing out the entire body. Sound therapy is amazing for no matter what health condition. And if you don't have a health condition, it makes you even healthier anyway. How about dog blood bush? It had some red stuff on it. Okay. I don't love dog 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 blood. I don't. I think it's so strong. It's like black or harsh. It's like you don't have to do that. For some women it it it, it creates havoc on their bodies, okay? For some they can manage. For me, I don't even want to mess with it. I don't want to have to do it unless it is a must. And so um, I would not use dog blood. I think that dog blood has a way of making women bleed more than they would usually. So um, depending on the situation, so I would not use that, no. Does red maca cause weight gain? Hmm, I don't think so. Um, red maca is more for hormones. Um, it's going to help to balance the hormones. It's going to help raise the libido. Um, so in terms of putting on weight because of the red maca, I, I doubt it. How strong is your hello period? Um, well, it uh, it does have black cohosh in it. It's actually the only thing that I have um, with black cohosh in it. Um, it is strong. Um, I still try not to do something too strong so we're like, you know, ripping you from inside out. Um, but it has, the hello period does have black cohosh. It has mugwort. It has a whole bunch of different stuff in it. Thanks for educating us. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. The topic is PCOS. Um, how to heal it, treat it, what it is. Um, of course, right now we are doing questions and answers. So any questions, any answers, it does not matter. It does not have to be about PCOS. What is sound therapy? Okay, so what is sound therapy? It is different vibrations and different patterns with notes like you know c d e whatever on the piano however um that help to stimulate certain parts of the body so it is using that that allows us to heal the body heal the cells heal the tissues heal those particular organs and that type of thing I am on treatment, but not sure what to eat. Okay, so if you are on treatment with me and you suffer from PCOS, um, of course, as I said, the dairy I don't want you having, you know, um, anything with soy I don't want you having, um, chicken, 
you got to be really picky about your chicken, okay, in terms of where you're buying it or how that's going because, of course, that has a lot of estrogen as well. But fish, seafood, um, goat, those three meats are actually the better meats to have, okay? Um, so if you can work around those meats, then I would say do that, okay? Um, because all the, all the other meats, most times they have estrogen in them unless you go way out of your way, way, way out of your way. For insomnia, which of the teas would you suggest? Okay. Insomnia is deficiencies. Okay. If you suffer from defic if you suffer from insomnia, then it is because you do not have certain vitamins and minerals in your body. So the first place I would start is a female multivitamin. Please don't bother to get one of these generic ones. You want a plant-based version. We have one called Feminine Divine, um, which is something that I take every morning. It's really, really good. Really helps to balance out the hormones, um, and it gives you everything you need. You might need a little bit more um, because maybe there are certain deficiencies that are extremely low, extremely deficient, um, but that is definitely a place that you can start. What is my consultation? Um, okay, so a consultation. So we have phone consultations. We have in-person consultations. Because of COVID, of course, we have stopped doing in-person consultations and we're doing just phone at the moment. Um, a consultation is going to be me asking you many questions to get a full understanding of your reproductive history and your goals. I am going to ask you questions from childhood up until today, present right now. Then I create a treatment plan based on the red flags, the things that I see, and based on your goals as well. I will email you this treatment plan and that treatment plan usually lasts three months. After that three months is over, I then create a new treatment plan for you that I would email again and you would start that and you would do that for two to three months and we would continue the process like that. So once you have paid for a consultation, you get six treatment plans plus guidance. What are some of the products that you have available for ovulation? Okay. Hi, Denver. Okay, so ovulation. Um, so we're talking all about the ovaries, okay? So things like vitamin C, um, evening primrose, uh, red maca is great. Those are probably the most popular things. Um, I would definitely recommend doing castor oil treatments. Uh, I would also recommend doing uh, reflexology and womb massages. So, for example, that is something that you could uh, make an appointment for. I would like, like, for example, you'd send a message or a DM and say, hey, I would like to do a, um, I'd like to come in for physical treatment for my ovaries. Uh, and then we would schedule you, you'd come in and I would do either reflexology and or a womb massage just depending on what's going on you will definitely also get a castor oil treatment first just to soften up the area before i begin um to do the massage or anything else that i'm doing how strong is the hello period it's strong it will bring down your period how often you have how long do you have to be on it for it to be brought down I can't answer that. Every woman is different. Some women drink it for four days and their period comes. Some have to do it for two months before the period comes down and then it, and then we, we're able to regulate it. So different strokes, different folks. Is metformin tablet good for treatment? <sighs> I hate metformin. I hate it. Unless you have diabetes. And even then, you know, I don't like pharmaceuticals like that. So that is not definitely going to be something that I am saying, yay, let's do this. Um, metformin is not healing the condition. Condition. 
We want to get to the root of whatever issue we have. If you have cancer, get to the root. If you have cysts, you get to the root. If you have digestion issues, you get to the root. We can't mask it. We can't, we can't just feed the symptoms. We have to get to the root so that we can remove everything and heal and, and fix the entire being. What treatments would you recommend for someone with PCOS that have a monthly period but have more horm male hormone? Okay, so I would suggest something like the hormonal oil blend, the hormonal tea, the womb tea, evening primrose, vitamin C. Oh my gosh, the list goes on and on. Castor oil treatments. I would, I would recommend those as basic things in general. If on the hello period for two months straight, no period, what would you suggest? Do you have something, so a stronger product? Well, first of all, I would recommend um, doing vaginal steaming as well, okay? Um, I would also recommend that being on the hello period, you're also doing other things. You're on your, you know, you're on a female vitamin. You're doing, you know, your castor oil treatments, those types of things, okay? Um, if it is that you're doing all of that and the period is still not coming down, then probably, probably what I would recommend is you need to be doing the hello period more often. TV, I love it. Yes, it, the journey is definitely worth it. I agree 100%. Do you accept credit cards in store? Yes, we do. Yes. Um, the credit card has to have a Visa or MasterCard logo or something like that. Thank you for the information. I like the fact that it's plant-based. I would like to purchase this product. Okay, send me a message um, in, the, uh, in the inbox. And, um, and then I can tell you how to do that. I'm not sure where you are, if you're in Jamaica or if you are in the U.S. Uh, if you are in the U.S., you can always go on our website and purchase it. If you're in Jamaica, um, send me a message um, on DM. We can send it to you wherever you are or you can come and pick it up. It's entirely up to you and how you want to do that. Yes, I take some of the things, some of the teas. Um, I take womb tea. That's basically the only tea that I really drink that I have. Um, but, I mean, if I had a problem, I'd, I would drink the other teas depending on what the problem is, of course. No period for six months now. Okay. All right, if you're not having a period for six months, we definitely want to bring it down. We definitely want to bring it down. We want to create a treatment plan for you so we can bring that down, Cam. Okay? Let me see what's going on over here. What's best to use to treat cysts? Um, I went over this earlier. Um, anything that is going to be a hormone balancer is going to be great for cysts. Um, also anything that doesn't have estrogen will also be great for cysts. So you can look back on the live, um, again and see, I went through a whole bunch of things in terms of the different products and that, and that kind of thing. So look back, look, watch back the live. We're also, um, we also are posting a lot of things about PCOS this month. Um, so in terms of the enemy stuff, the things that are good for you, this, that, that we are posting them. So please get the information and then you know purchase whatever it is that you need to purchase so that the healing journey can start can the treatment you recommend be used for simple ovarian cysts yes 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 definitely definitely does kidney stones cause your urine to smell funny um it can it can smell funny i mean I mean, the kidneys are stressed out, um, so it can definitely smell funny. It can hurt to pee. The back can hurt um, before peeing, during peeing, after peeing, consistent back, lower back pain. Um, if you have kidney stones, you definitely want to do something about it because it only gets worse and worse and worse. It doesn't just stop all of a sudden. My gyno says my tubes are damaged by some centimeter. Do I have to do surgery to get pregnant? Okay, so 
it depends on the type of damage okay um we can definitely do things um for the tube if it's damaged or if there is blockage but if there is excessive damage then of course i will definitely say ivf iui is what it is that you need to do yes white bread no none of it Okay, I do not have a problem with um, Mayo um, or, or Cairo or any of those things for the PCOS. Okay, I think that those things help. I don't think it helps for all PCOS, um, depending on the type of PCOS that you have. Um, those are more about like uh, insulin um, resistant PCOS, which is sometimes why they would give like the metformin and that type of thing. Uh, other than that, I wouldn't use it. You try to DM me? On what? On where? Please, I mean, on the Vagina Lady or on the Cosmic Woman page? I'd like to make a consultation with you. Yes, so send me a DM um, or send me a WhatsApp message or anything like that. And let's set you up for one. I know that we're fully booked for June, um, but we definitely have openings for July. So um, send me a DM. Would I recommend Yoni Pearls for detoxing and removing cysts? Guys, I talk about this every single week almost. I do not recommend Yoni Pearls. I think that they are way too strong. I think that they are very generic. Um, and I think that it is just a fad right now, okay? Please don't use it. It is not worth it. It is not going to just remove your cysts like that. Okay, um, and a lot of times it throws off the pH balance in the vagina. The good thing about the consultation is that you can ask her anything, anytime. That is true. That is true. Um, which is why, you know, you get the guidance, you get the support. Because when I, when I had my reproductive issues, I did not have support. Mm -hmm. I did not have support by a doctor that I could call and, you know, if, if it was a low day, send a WhatsApp message like, I feel so low today because of this or, you know, um, my symptoms were killing me. I'd have to make an appointment to go see the doctor. Um, I don't want my clients to feel like that. Of course, I can't be everywhere um, always and I will not always respond to your call um, your text or your call immediately I won't and I can't um, but just to know that someone else is going to you know I will respond even if it's 24 hours later or something like that she's still going to respond she'll still is great uh, I want my clients to feel as if I to know not even just feel but to know that I am here for them Going through reproductive issues and healing yourself, support is key. Because we as women, when we have reproductive issues, we feel like our body has failed us. We are flawed. We are not real women. What did we do in our past life to deserve this? So having the support definitely helps. Any advice for a young female going to the Yoni steaming business? Um... I would say get educated on steaming, get educated on the reproductive system um, so that you can really help. You can really help. Like even though you're just doing steaming, you can really help the woman because you can know, okay, you want to come and steam. When is your period? When do you ovulate? How is your period? This, this, this. So that you can know either what steam to her, which herbal blend to use or how often she needs to steam or how long she needs to sit there on the steam. Because there are some women that should not sit that 45 minutes to an hour to steam. She needs to steam for 20 minutes and get the hell up. Okay, so it just really educating yourself is key. If you are interested in becoming educated, um, I will be holding classes, um, online classes for certification of 
womb wellness practitioners. It's something that I'm working on right now, trying to finish up. Uh, I'm doing womb wellness practitioners, also doulas, birth doulas and postpartum doulas and bereavement doulas. Uh, it is important for me to educate others so that there can be more Ramonas around the place and better Ramonas around the place, um, reaching, reaching the entire world. Um, because the one thing Cosmic Woman is about is healing the world one womb at a time and making sure that if we heal the woman from inside out, if we, if we reintroduce nurturing and the fact that she needs to be nurturing and she needs to be nurtured, then she can be the best version of herself. And in her being the best version of herself, the rest of the world is like a domino effect. Okay. <laughs> The more healthy mentally, emotionally, physically she is, the better the world is going to be. So I need help to do that. So yes, those classes will be available. You can send us a DM about it. Um, if you would like to do something like that, so at least you can say, yes, I'm certified, um, you know, and blah, blah, blah. And of course, during that certification, we teach you about the different herbs and the this and the that and all that kind of stuff. So at the end of the day, you can create your own um, vaginal steam blend to use in your to use in your establishment if you would like to. Um, or if you want to, you can always use Cosmic Woman stuff um, and Cosmic Woman things. And of course, you would definitely get a wholesale rate for that so that you can then do what you need to do for um, your clients. What about detox pearls? Guys, we talked about this already. I don't like them. I want to balance my hormones, but the review, I'm not sure what that means. Talk about HPV. Okay, so HPV is definitely something that, um, that we are going to be getting into a lot because there's not a lot of talk about it. And usually when people talk about it, it's just about go get the vaccine, go get the vaccine. And everybody knows that Ramona is not about the vaccine thing at all. So we will be talking about HPV. HPV um, are kind of like precancerous cells that would be up closer to the cervix or near the cervix or on the cervix. Um, sexually, it can be something that is derived from that. Um, but definitely it is because the cells are damaged. The cells itself are unhealthy. For some people, um, an OBGYN will say, okay, let us use cold and freeze those cells to kill it. Other OBGYNs will use heat to kill it. Uh, it's, so it really just depends on who you go to or how bad it is or you, what you've been through, the condition your body is in, that type of thing. Um, if it is that you suffer from HPV, I definitely recommend you doing something about it. There are natural things that you can do for HPV. Yes, 100%. You do not have to do anything in terms of like surgery or anything because you wouldn't need to. Um, the freezing or the, or the lasering off of the cells um, is a outpatient thing. You don't have to go to the hospital, nothing like that. It's a in and out, in and out, like you went to go get your pap smear type of situation. I can't wait for you to touch on endometriosis. Oh my gosh. Endometriosis is something I talk about all the time. Um, March was endometriosis month. So Cosmic Woman did a lot of things when it came to that. Um, we held some free chats. Um, we did a lot of interviews, um, TV and radio. We did a lot of things. Um, it's something we do every year when it comes to March. But throughout the year, endo is something we talk about because... I have a lot of clients that have endometriosis as well, um, and they really, really suffered. And it is beautiful to see how not only are they not suffering, but they're also getting their goal, which is getting pregnant and not have having, you know, those painful periods and leg pains and all the kinds of other things that they would usually have um, prior to treatment. What's the name of the ultrasound? Transvaginal. It's a transvaginal ultrasound, pelvic ultrasound. 
Yes, men can definitely use the castor oil treatment. You can do the castor oil treatment on your children as well. Okay. I have really bad pain about three days before my meds. My meds last seven days and I spot for another week. I have fibroids. They are in the lining. My MD says that they are not giving any issue. Okay. So I would love to do a consultation with you so we can fix this. Fix the pain. Um, fix this long period. I mean... I don't even want you to be having pains or uncomfortableness before your period, much less during your period, much less you're spotting for a whole week after the actual period is over. It's too long. It's too dragged out. So I would definitely want to do things to shorten that period, to shrink the fibroid, sorry, to shrink the fibroid, um, and to balance your hormones, of course. I want to balance my hormones with red maca, but the reviews is scary about weight gain. By the way, I already purchased it from you. Okay, so um, I don't think the weight gain is that crazy. Um, more than anything else could be. I mean, iron can make you gain weight as well, and iron is very good for you. So if you're worried about that, then maybe do the maca every other day instead of every day. Um, and I would also say incorporate other things. The red maca alone is not going to do enough. It's good. It's great. Wonderful. But it's not going to be enough. If you suffer from PCOS, you need more. It's got to be a group effort. If on the hello period for two months straight, no period, what do you suggest? Did I read this already? Um... I suggest doing it more. I suggest adding um, vaginal steaming involved and also castor oil treatment. Oh, I love you, Nats. How do you care? How do you take care of your womb after an abortion? Okay, after an abortion, what is great, number one, is to do steaming. You're not going to steam just one day. Having an abortion, you want to tell yourself like it's almost like you have given birth or you had a miscarriage. That's what kind of what you want to have in your mind in terms of healing back. So I would definitely recommend doing some red raspberry. Um, or if you want to do like a blend, you can try our womb tea or whatever. But red raspberry is for the uterus. So that in itself will be enough. Um, I would also suggest vaginal steaming. So you're going to steam, you're going to steam at least three times in that one week after the abortion, okay? Or if it was a miscarriage, or if it was that you gave birth, or if it was that you had a C-section, you want to do it close together. We want to remove all the extra clots, the fluids, all of that type of thing. So that's what I would recommend. And also always get on a female vitamin. How does Yoni Pearls help with fibroids? I have no idea. I don't... I don't do yoni pearls. <laughs> I'm not sure. You'd have to ask someone who sells yoni pearls. They could probably uh, explain that to you. Very informative and understand your explanations. Thank you. You are more than welcome. The whole point is for you to understand. It's not supposed to be up over your head. I mean, then what the fuck is the point, you know? Can I pay first to Caribbean Bank or do I have to go to BNS? Um, you can do a transfer from First Caribbean if you want to BNS. I think it takes a few days, like two or three days, but you can do that. Um, you can also use a credit card or a debit card. Uh, you can also use PayPal. You can also um, you can also come to the office and pay um, at the pay cash at the office. I am so excited for in-person consultation. <laughs> yes, in-person consultation should start back in the latter part of July. Um, there will be, there will not be a lot of them at all. Um, because how I'm breaking it up right now is doing phone consultations and then you come into um, to the office for physical treatment. Uh, so that you only have to come into the office for an hour instead of coming in for two hours So I still recommend you doing your phone consultation and also setting an appointment for your um, your purse your treatment in person in person treatment 
yes scar tissue can definitely be um removed uh you can use serapeptase you can use ginger you can use um castor oil treatments um those things definitely help I am enjoying your womb tea with the blue vervain and dong kwai. Awesome. We actually have a new blend for the womb tea. So anyone that purchases it, um, that usually purchases it, you're going to realize that it is different. We have a lot more other herbs in there. It is yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, now, guys, I know there are so many more questions that I have not answered. Um, and I am so sorry. The time is running out on us. But again, please, guys, if you have questions, send us a DM, send us a WhatsApp that message anything like that if you are on this live right now go to the youtube channel and subscribe guys please there are so many things that i want to do on youtube that i can't do right now because i don't have enough followers to do it so please check out the youtube channel there are some videos on there if you haven't been watching pum pum 101 some of the videos are there also please check it out okay um of course, if you're not following the Vagina Lady on IG, please do so. Um, Vagina Lady is going to be coming on with some, with some cool stuff for July, so I don't want you guys to miss out on that. I have a vaginal toning class that is on the 27th of June. Uh, and of course, that means stimulating, awakening, tightening, toning the vaginal muscles. I also have a pelvic strengthening class, which is for men. And this is to strengthen the muscles, um, the pelvic floor, uh, to make the penis be the best version of itself. Both classes are free. There is no reason that 74 people who are on here right now on, on IG for Cosmic Woman should not be on that Zoom. Okay? Everyone can go. It's free. Please, don't let um, the opportunity pass you. If it's free, take it. Okay? All you have to do is send us a message on our Jamaica number, which is 876 four zero six two seven six four and just tell them hey i want to register for the class and we will take your name number and we will send you the zoom um the zoom link okay thanks again guys for tuning in tune in um this friday for pum pum 101 it will be questions and answers i will be with colleen dietrich we will be together so i can rub my shoulder against her and we can chat and we can have a great time uh, I also will be having a new moon chat um, with Alina. I have done that before for the full moon, um, the, soul, the lunar eclipse, and that went really well. And so we're going to be doing one for the solar eclipse, which will be on Saturday. So please tune in for that. That will be on the Vagina Lady page. Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Love and light to all of you. Blessings.